All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, they got their guy at the offensive coordinator position and Luke Getzey. Kind of a surprising hire as everybody was thinking Cliff Kingsbury was going to be a done deal. They pivot once that deal falls through and they go with Luke Getzey, the previous offensive coordinator for the Chicago Bears the last two seasons. Now, I really think a lot of Raiders fans are going to come around to this eventually. And I have some fun facts here. So, Everybody's concerned with Luke Getze because him and Justin Fields, it just never made sense. In my opinion, it just never made sense. Luke Getze's scheme and the way he wants things quick, you know, like ball out of the hands, right? Quickly. Get that ball out of your hands as quickly as possible. Uh, that's not what Justin Fields is, right? Justin Fields likes to extend plays. He likes to use his feet, get mobile, and uh, it just didn't work out. It was not a good fit. If you're a Bears fan, I think you know it just was not a good fit. I don't think it was a Getsy problem. I don't think it was a Fields problem. I think it was just combined. That was not the move. So the last two seasons, the Chicago Bears with Justin Fields under center, they were dead last in passing yards per game. So the Raiders still need to go out there and get a competent quarterback. And that's what we're going to talk about very quickly. But I do just want to say these two fun facts to ease Raiders fans' minds. Rushing yards per game, 159.2. Where does that rank in the National Football League in the last two seasons? Number one in the NFL. The Las Vegas Raiders, I know they dealt with some issues, some injuries, some some team issues with Josh McDaniels just being the straight up head coach, uh, times change and things changed. And so Josh Jacobs dealt with injuries. We saw Zamir White in the last four games of the regular season really pop off. But the Raiders running unit all season was just not good. They were almost dead last in the National Football League last year in rushing yards per game. Here's a fun fact. Big plays and a big play is a rush of 10 plus yards or a reception of 20 plus yards the Bears had 251, sorry, 241. That was tied for third in the league in the last two seasons. So I get it. Not everyone likes Luke Getzey higher. We're going to talk about that and some more. But before we get into it, if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content, along with a couple of Raiders videos every single week. Raiders fans, if we could try and get this video to 250 likes, that would mean the absolute world to me. So, uh, like I said, you got your guy at the offense coordinator position. So now it becomes, as we get closer to the draft, who's going to be the quarterback? And the Raiders have about $40 million in cap space. They have a fourth round rookie QB in Aiden O'Connell. Uh, you got the 13th pick in the draft. Jimmy Garoppolo, I think, is a certified cut candidate. They can save a bunch of money cutting him and also Hunter Renfro. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later on, but I don't think Jimmy G will even be on the roster this time next season. I like Aiden O'Connell, but I'm definitely not trying to give him the keys to the car for another or for a full regular season. All things considered, I do think he did a very good job. Now, I've seen some interesting mock drafts. You know, a lot of them have the Raiders going with an offensive tackle, and that seems fitting. Uh, 13, I don't think Penix will be available. I've seen some Bo Nix propaganda. I saw an interesting mock draft where the Raiders draft J.J. McCarthy out of the University of Michigan. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because I don't like that pick, or I didn't like that pick. Um, Harbaugh speaks very highly of him. And... You know, Michigan's offense was more run-based. Like in the national championship game, uh, JJ didn't need to do much. He was 10 of 18, 140 yards, zero touchdowns, zero interceptions. The game before that against Alabama, 221 passing yards, three touchdowns, zero interceptions. JJ in general last year, 22 touchdowns, only four interceptions. He had a really solid season. Uh, but Michigan, one thing I do like about Michigan and just being in that conference is the Big Ten. And they play defense in the Big Ten. So they had more of a ground attack. Um, I did just want to kind of gauge my Raiders fans watching this video right now, their their thoughts and their opinions on JJ McCarthy, because this, you know, it was Yahoo Sports. They said McCarthy is widely viewed as the number four quarterback in the NFL draft behind Caleb Williams, Drake May, Jaden Daniels, et cetera, et cetera. I don't necessarily agree with that, uh, but I do think you know, J.J. would be interesting to battle up in camp against Aiden O'Connell. Uh, he certainly wouldn't be my first opinion. And just while we're at it, yes, of course, I would like the Raiders to draft Caleb Williams. Yes, I wouldn't mind if they drafted Jake May, Drake May. I would absolutely lose my mind 
if they drafted Jaden Daniels. Uh, but I think those three players are going to go in the first three picks. And the Raiders would have to give the Bears, probably specifically the Bears, a huge, massive haul. So I don't really think it's all that viable that the Raiders are going to trade into the top three of the draft. It's certainly possible with new GM Tom Telesco. So we move on to um, in today's video, Kirk Cousins. And Kirk Cousins is very interesting because a report dropped yesterday that Vikings QB Kirk Cousins is growing impatient with lack of contract talks. And Minnesota is in a very interesting position here because you got JJ. Uh, Kirk Cousins' season, unfortunately, was just ended due to an injury. He was on his way to another Pro Bowl. They started winning. They were on a nice three-game winning streak. He finished in just eight games with 18 touchdowns and five interceptions. Or sorry, eight games. Yeah, eight games, 18 touchdowns, five interceptions. Prior to that, he made back-to-back -back Pro Bowls. He's made three Pro Bowls, not counting this past season. Prior to this past season, three Pro Bowls out of his last four seasons. I think he would be a very good bridge QB with Luke Getze because, honestly, folks, this Raiders team is ready to win right here, right now. But my point that I was trying to get to with the Minnesota Vikings is, you know, with that report, once that report dropped yesterday, I've been seeing a ton of mock drafts where the Vikings trade up and take a QB. And uh, that would mean, obviously, Kirk Cousins would not be back with that team. And, you know, I'd take a look at this Raiders offense, and I'd be like, all right, Josh Jacobs would probably be back. You got Devontae Adams, uh, new weapons coming on in, assumingly, and you'll rebuild up, or not rebuild, but retweak that offensive line. Uh, my point with Kirk Cousins is the Raiders went eight and nine last season, which, you know, obviously a season below 500 isn't viewed necessarily as a success. Uh, but if you're a Raiders fan, if you were paying attention to just the Raiders turmoil last season, it was a huge success because Antonio Pierce, the interim head coach, comes in and leads the Raiders to not only a five and four record with impressive victories like the 63 points against the Chargers with a fourth round rookie quarterback. Uh, you beat the Kansas City Chiefs on Christmas Day. You finish off the season with a win against Denver. Uh, they have a winning roster and the defense under Antonio Pierce was one of the best in the National Football League. And you've got guys like Malcolm Kuntz who just came out of nowhere even though Raiders fans had always always been vouching for him you got Max Crosby like there's a lot of talent on the defensive side and as much as I would love if the Raiders were to acquire a rookie QB trade up for a rookie QB a guy like Jaden Daniels uh, I would not be opposed at all to Kirk Cousins coming in on like a two-year contract and uh, just getting this team back to the playoffs and see what they can do so let me know what you guys are thinking as always, hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL counts. But yeah, most importantly, would you want Kirk Cousins as QB1 for the Raiders next season? Or do you have a rookie QB or a different veteran QB in mind? Let me know down below. But as always, have a great rest of your night, and we will see you next time.